It, Same. Pablo, had you ever heard of Nate Oates? I no. hadn't. Apparently, he's the basketball coach at Alabama, and he has a bone to pick with Mike Krzyzewski about pausing this season. Nate Oates doesn't want to pause anything, and he took a shot at Krzyzewski. Let's listen. Do you think if Coach K hadn't lost the two non-conference games at home, if he'd still be saying that? Probably not. Okay. That's, I just wanted you to say it, not me. Pablo, is, is that a fair shot at Krzyzewski? No, and we have, like, evidence to adjudicate this matter with, right? Did Coach K say what he said? Hey, we got to slow down, maybe start this thing in 2021. Did he say that before the season started, before he got to the point where he is with the record being embarrassing? He did. Him and Rick Pitino, like unlikely allies in college basketball wisdom here, have been very clear about this long before Coach K and Duke seemed to scuffle. And I know, Tony, this is about... 94, 95 with Duke, right? And Coach K stepping away and letting Pete Gaudet take all those losses in that season that still hangs over Coach K clearly. But to me, like, ignore the messenger for a second. Evaluate the message. And the message seems quite logical if you don't have blinders on in this planet. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't tell you that if Shashevsky hadn't lost those two games at Cameron Indoor that he wouldn't have said this. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I go back a long time with him. I go back to the Army days, even before Duke. And I have liked Mike Krzyzewski a lot for a long time. Can he be pious? Oh, sure. He can have piety with the best of them. <laughs> I've seen that. But to your point, ask yourself, forget the losses for a second, and ask yourself, is what he's saying makes sense? And it does make sense. This particular season so far, this college basketball season, is like driving an old car on a dirt road. You're just bumping around. You never know when it's going to break down. I, I mean, I thought it was a cheap shot. How about you? It was a cheap shot, and Nate Oates went on to say that he really wants to keep playing this season for the kids. And that, look, if we're going to have any hypocrisy identified today on this program, let it be that. Let it be the idea that Nate Oates is out here being selfless for his players, as opposed to, if I may quote yourself, to yourself, like, the answer to all these questions is money, right? Nate Oates wants to do this. College basketball wants to do this because there is money at the end of this regular season rainbow. That's why they care so much about playing right now. So I want you to just sit there and listen for a while, because I'm going to go on for a while. If I were Mike Krzyzewski, this is exactly what I would do. I would get a picture of Nate Oates. I would put it in my bathroom so that I could see it every single day, so that I could focus my <laughs> hatred on Nate Oates. And then I would call my AD and I would say this. I would say, get Alabama in here. Get them on our schedule. Give them any guarantee that they want. And then I would go out and I would try to beat Nate Oates by all the points the law allows. And that would not even satisfy me. Then I would schedule the <laughs> University of Buffalo, where Nate Oates coached before. And I'd try to beat them by 100. Then I'd go to Wisconsin Whitewater, the old Warhawks, where he was an assistant, and try to beat them by 100. And then I would go to Romulus High School in Michigan, where he coached, and try to beat them by 200. If I was Mike Krzyzewski, I would unleash all the fury of Duke and my five, count them, five championships, I don't know how many Oats he has, and I would aim them <laughs> at this guy, because that would bother me. If I were Mike Krzyzewski, I don't know if Mike would do that. You are, Let's you take are known break. for your piety, Tony. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.